I welcome you to economics class. We're going to have a very interesting time together today. We're going to discuss Malthusian theory of population. Malthusian theory of population. To some of you that wants to become economist, I want to assure you that we're going to find this topic very interesting. You know, economists, scientists, they cannot do without theory. So, we're going to look at the work done by a man called Reverend Thomas Mathos, who lived between 1776 and 1834. Mathosian theory of population. My name is Shola Uluwadari. Now, Let's look at the objectives of this study. Now, at the end of the lesson, the student should be able to understand the basis of Matosian theory of population, know the fundamentals of the theory, understand the elements of the theory, know the criticisms of Matosian theory of population, and know how valid are Mathos postulations as far as today's economies are concerned. Now, Reverend Thomas Robert Mathers is a 17th century economist and a clergyman, wrote a controversial essay in 1798. The title of that essay was an essay on the principles of population. Now, the essay was full of predictions and postulations of population growth in Europe at that time. Now, the summary of the essay was that population tends to increase as a faster rate than its means of subsistence, and that unless it is checked by moral restraint, which is preventive, or by disease, famine, war, disaster, widespread property, degradation, degradation will inevitably result. Now, what that one is simply saying is that population tends to increase in geometric rate, while means of subsistence increases in arithmetic rate. Now, Let's look at the key elements of Matosian theory of population. Number one is that population growth was in geometric rate, exponential. So when we say exponential, it means 2, 4, 16, 256, and you know, galloping like that. Why means of subsistence was in arithmetic rate? 1, 2, Three, you can see the difference. Now, if left unchecked, Matos said population will outgrow means of subsistence. We can see it visibly as far as these figures are concerned. But Matos came up with two ways to control population growth, which he called preventive checks, like moral restraint, you know, postponing marriage, and all that. And he also came up with positive checks. Now, like famine, like disease, like warfare. Now, let's see what was said to be wrong with this theory propounded by Mathos. It was said that Mathos' views were pessimistic. He wasn't optimistic as far as the economies of his time were concerned. The theory did not have worldwide view because it was solely based in England. Matos could not prove its geom geometric and arithmetic population growth rates beyond figures. So they could only see the figures, they couldn't relate the figures with the reality. And of course, the theory actually ignored scientific discovery, which brought about more than means of birth control that came later. Now, it was also said that positive checks are not symptoms of overpopulation. Now, let's look at the validity of Matosian theory today. There are some elements of Matos theory that are actually 
the realities of things as far as today is concerned. Now, negative attitudes such as polygamy has continued to escalate population growth. We can see it in West African countries. In fact, we can see it in all the whole of African countries. In developing countries, you see, because of religion, you see one person marrying three wives, having 16 children and all that. Now, that tends to increase population. Now, the population of most developing countries is actually in geometric grade. Why? The food production is in arithmetic grade. The standard of living in most developing countries is continuously falling due to population growth. And most countries of the world are found it challenging, seriously challenging, to eradicate poverty, despite different policies that government, governments are rolling out to achieve this. Now, let's look at what we have discussed so far. We have said that Reverend Thomas Matos propounded population theory in 1798 that population tends to increase in geometric rate by means of statistics increasing in arithmetic rate. We also look at the fact that two ways to check population growth according to Matos are preventive checks and positive checks. Matos was heavily criticized for using Europe as the case and generalizing that for the whole world. But some aspects of the theory are actually still valid. Today. Now, I'm going to give you an assignment. Explain briefly how Matthausian theory of population reflects current population growth phenomenon in Africa. Do that. <laughs> 